It's Renato. In this video, we're going to take a look at a third level of personalization, which are content-wise we call page personalization. This is the ability for UX engine to select, sort, and rearrange carousels in the page, not only according to the type of content that the users might like, which is used by the single list and the multiple list perspective, but also on the way the users interact with the service. How do they arrive at content? Do they click on horizontal posters, vertical posters, hero banner, popular content, recent content, personalized content. The way users interact with the service determines the sorting criteria and the selection of carousels in the page. From an editorial perspective, you have the option of defining that certain carousels are in a fixed and static location, like for example, the hero banner, which is here at the top here in our simulator is always at the top, which we call fixed location. Or you can define that carousels are movable but optional, or they are movable but mandatory meaning that they display for every user, but maybe in a different location. One way to actually see the effects of page personalization is to fire up our simulator and take a look at the differences between the experience for user Jack on one side and user Emma on the other side on our landing page. So here, for example, we can notice that top rated movies for user Emma is displayed almost at the top of the page while for user Jack, we have to scroll down through the page and actually go almost more than half of it to actually find top rated movies. So in this case, we see the example of the effects of page personalization. So the top rated movies carousel is actually displayed in a different order in the page, but also the first level of personalization. The content in the carousel is also personalized. Another example is that, for example, continue watching here which was the second carousel in our page, is displayed in the third section of the page itself for user Jack, while for user Emma, we don't even actually find continue watching because it was marked as an optional carousel. The benefits of page personalization are not only to make it more personal for users, but ultimately, the KPI that we want to track is the time to content. How long does it take for users to find content that they enjoy? Do they have to scroll through a very long page to actually find it? So we actually observe that the time to content decreases when we apply page personalization, which is a good KPI that we can actually track to see the effects and the benefit of personalizations that we apply to our service. Thank you for watching.